What's up, everybody? Welcome to Same Cast Different Day Podcast. I'm the host, Martel Roland. Tina Marie, we will be returning soon. So, at the time of the release of this episode, we should be in the week of Christmas. It's crunch time, people. It's crunch time. Have you got all your Christmas shopping done? Because if you listen to the last podcast, you will know that I got all my Christmas shopping done. I was done early. I started early. I started like right after Thanksgiving. I didn't do Black Friday shopping. There was no good sales on Black Friday. Black Friday was an insult, to be honest. A complete insult. I'm like, there was no good deals or nothing. And it's not really anything that I really wanted. Because I kind of had in mind with everything I was going to buy. But anyway, during this Christmas season, I know that uh, Bath and Body Works has made a lot. I mean, a lot of money off of me because they keep had they kept having them sales i had to buy i did the buy three get three sale um i did that that's been like a hundred and maybe like 160 some dollars 150 somewhere around there and then i think later on that day i got back on bought some more stuff and then uh they had the candle sales so i went on there and bought candles and yeah they they just made so much money off of me and one of the hard things to find, I still cannot find me an Xbox One. I want me an Xbox One X, well, Series X, and, and I can't find one. I'm I'm still searching. I'm still looking. And I can't find one, and I want one. And it's crazy because I will not buy any new video games until I get an Xbox One. And I forgot to mention this on the last uh, episode, but I heard that when Cyberpunk uh, 20, I think it's called 2070. 2077 came out um when it came out on like ps4 i heard that the graphics were not so good uh i saw i did see some of the sosa vinci was streaming it the day before it launched on um the day before it launched on console and i don't know it's like the graphics look good but probably because i wasn't playing it i was like oh this game looks so boring um i don't like the whole first person thing um because i think the whole entire game you told me if you're playing a game it's in first person so i really don't like that because it kind of gives you that uh call of duty fight type feel i just don't like i didn't like that um but yeah so some in there there was even some memes and some graphics posted i only saw the ps4 version uh, the graphics that was horrible. I didn't even see any of the Xbox One version of the graphics where people were complaining about the graphics. So, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really know anything about that. Um, yeah. So, I like I said, I still can't find an Xbox Series X. I want an Xbox Series X. I'm at the point now. If I cannot find an Xbox Series X, I'm going to go try to find me a PS5. I know, I need something, and and it's like. I wonder, like, normally I would have had the new 2K uh, basketball uh, 2K. I would have had that. At least would have had a couple more games. And I just I, I just don't want to buy anything unless I have one of the new consoles. And I, I, I'm, I'm still standing on it. And it's crazy because they knew this stuff was going to be in such high demand. And yet, there's, it's like they're barely putting anything out for people to buy. And when stores and stuff are getting stocked, they're not even telling people. They're not letting people know. So if you just happen to randomly be in the store shopping when they're in the store, that's the only way you're going to know. Um, so that kind of really pees me off a little bit. And uh, Best Buy, when I was trying to buy one of Best Buy, it's like, oh, we're going to be selling some every couple of minutes or something. Like we're going to be selling some. I have my credit card information and everything. Um, I had to add to cart thing. So all I have to do is hit, hit add to cart, buy. And so, that's what actually, I already had it at the cart. So, once they became available, it automatically goes straight to the cart. And all you have to do is basically click buy. It also charges to my credit card. And so, I went through all this process. I waited and I waited and I waited. It finally happened. And then when I did it, it kept on saying error, error, error. Is it some type of error, 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 error. So, then, I finally, uh, once the, I finally get it in, and I hit buy, and then it's like, oh, sold out. I was like, Best Buy screwed people. That was, it, it screwed me on my Series X. I was so upset about that. And, yeah, just very upset about the whole process. And, like I said, I'm still searching for one. And it's crazy that more scalpers have, um, has consoles 
more than stores. And it's crazy because I'm seeing people selling PS5s and Xbox Series X for $1,300 and $1,400. I think I saw one sell on eBay for like $2,000. I'm not that desperate. I'm desperate, but I'm not that desperate where I'm paying, you know, twice as much for the console. Like I said, I just continue to wait and wait and wait until I can get one. Because at this point, I just refuse to do it. So, all you little bastards out there who did get your, your Xbox Series X and your PS5, I don't like you. Anyway, <laughs> uh, moving ahead. So, like I said, it's crunch time for Christmas. Like I said, I got all my Christmas shopping done. Um, one thing I had wanted to talk about, and un okay, okay, I can't really mention the name of the hospital, but um, it's the hospital, one of the top hospitals in this part of the state where I live at and they have had employees working during this whole entire pandemic and their way of thinking them from coming to work during the whole entire pandemic especially for those who didn't take advantage of the some of the uh, attendance policies are constantly called in um so their way is showing their appreciation was uh, you get seven free meals from the cafeteria. That's it. And they did that twice. So basically, you got 14 free meals from the cafeteria. And I'm like, is this just because you're trying to get rid of the food or what? And then uh, what's more insulting is Christmas is coming up. And what they give their employees? A bonus for $275. When there are other companies giving their employees and staff like the minimum at one of the other hospitals, that's like the second best, like chain of hospitals, whatever you want to call it, um, gave their staff the least the staff got was five hundred dollars. And that was with people who work in administrative was what I heard. So I'm like, this is just pure insulting to that staff. And it's crazy how healthcare workers are constantly putting their lives on the line and putting their health in jeopardy to take care of the people and yet constantly getting stabbed and I wouldn't say stabbed in the back and not appreciated but I'll oh, just tell you how to tell your healthcare workers thank you no that's not enough pay them pay us do something y'all wait I got a little topic wait I just got a call from the volunteer, volunteer firefighters. I'm so sick. You know what? This is a pandemic. People ain't got no money, y'all. It's these people with fire, fire protection program. All these other people just constantly call and call and call and call. And then all these scam people that's calling and talking about, can you donate? Nobody has money to donate unless you're a freaking millionaire or billionaire or at least one of those people who has like a couple of hundred thousand dollars sitting in the bank. Nobody has money to donate. Stop calling people and asking them if they have money to donate. Because guess what? They don't have it. I'm just saying. But yeah, they just call me with that bull crap. That whole thing just took me all off guard and made me forget. But anyways, um, I just want to tell everybody, Merry Christmas. Hopefully everybody enjoyed their Christmas. I'm going to keep this podcast short and sweet because you know what? Them just calling just threw me off. And I don't... Uh, I for, I, forgot i had everything planned out in my head and i kind of forgot what it was because they just called me with that nonsense so i'm just gonna wish everybody a very merry and happy christmas and i will be announcing the winner of the mariah carey book next week so once again make sure y'all listen and find out who the winner is and don't forget to follow the podcast on t- facebook twitter and instagram you can follow on instagram and twitter at scdd wait speaking of twitter so my personal Twitter account got hacked, and that's why I say Twitter security sucks when it comes to, and it's make me not trust Twitter at this point no more, and especially with your privacy, because okay, I got woke up to an email saying, hey, somebody tried to hack your account, you need to go in and change your password. Go in and change my password, couldn't do it. Um, I tried to contact Twitter. It was like, well, well, you don't have proof that it's your account and let these people just take over my Twitter account. So now I don't even have Twitter. I'm not even going to make another Twitter account. And it's crazy because it's like, you don't have no proof. I'm like, but when I post a picture from Instagram, it still goes to that account. So I'm like, what do you mean? I don't have proof that 
I'm the owner of that Twitter account if my personal Instagram page is is every time I post a picture goes to that account so yeah I'm done with Twitter as far as I'm not making another personal account I'm not going to do any of that so it's like I said when it comes to Twitter they just let people hack your accounts and let them get away with it and you know just they they just, your information and your privacy is not safe with Twitter so I very I recommend y'all at this point get rid of your Twitter if you got anything personal that you've been inboxing people uh, if you've been sending your phone numbers contacts like once you got account is hacked like them people got access to all that stuff and if you've been sending any kind of information through like direct messaging to people on Twitter I highly recommend that you stop or you just get rid of Twitter so anyways thank you all for listening to this episode of same cast every day podcast don't forget to head over to Facebook and follow the podcast on Facebook which is at same cast with same cast different day podcast on Facebook thank you all for listening to this episode and I will see y'all next week <laughs>